treatment options for Kalman syndrome or CHH can broadly be separated into three different categories depending where in the hormonal cycle you wish to replace the hormones. The first option is to replace the hypothalamic hormone, GnRH. The second option would be to replace the pituitary hormones, LH or FS FSH. Or third option would be to replace the hormones normally produced by the testes or the ovaries, testosterone or estrogen and progesterone. The replacement of the hypothalamic hormone, GnRH, can be a very effective treatment method, but fortunately it's not widely available to most patients with Kalman syndrome. It's more available these days as clinical trials. It, it works by using a, a pump attached to the body, normally around the waist, a bit like the pumps normally used for type 1 diabetics. And the slow release of GnRH in a pulsatile manner allows the pituitary gland to release FSH and LH, and in turn will allow the gonads to produce estrogen and progesterone or testosterone. And over time it will also help to induce fertility. The replacement of the pituitary hormones, LH and FSH, in patients with Kalman syndrome and CHH is known as gonadotropin therapy. And it can be used either just for hormone replacement therapy, or it can be used for fertility treatment. Uh, the treatments can be effective in both males and females, but they can take different times to work. And there's various medications available, which place either the LH or the FSH either singly or together. And normally these are taken in injections, normally subcutaneous injections, just underneath the skin. Since LH and FSH cannot be injected as natural hormones, alternative hormones are used instead. HCG, or human chorionic gonadotropin, or HMG, human menogonadotropin, are, are both, both used as alternatives. Both of these can either be made artificial within the laboratory or they can be produced naturally from female urine. HCG has exactly the same activity as LH and HMG has the same activity as LH and FSH. So in fertility treatment and hormone replacement therapy in men, combinations of HCG, FSH or HMG can be used to achieve fertility and hormone replacement therapy. Normally fertility treatment is quicker in females than in males. Hormone replacement therapy is the most common form of treatment for both men and women with Kalman syndrome and CHH. Its ultimate aim is to replace the hormones which are missing. So for females it is to replace the estrogen and progesterone normally produced by the ovaries and in men it is to replace the testosterone normally produced by the testes. Hormone replacement therapy is given normally when first diagnosed to induce most of the secondary sexual characteristics seen at puberty, apart from fertility. So you'll get the hair growth, muscle growth, libido, but you won't get the sperm production or the egg release. Hormone replacement with both males and females is normally lifelong because Testosterone and estrogen are vital hormones for other, other systems within the body, especially bone strength and bone density, and in the prevention of diabetes. There's a range of different forms of treatment which patients can use for hormone replacement therapy for both males and females, including patches, gels, injections, tablets, implants. Once the Secretary of sexual characteristics have developed after first diagnosis. The aim of hormone replacement therapy is to maintain a normal physiological level of testosterone or estrogen within the body. And sometimes it can take a bit of trial and error to find out which treatment methods are best, how often the treatment is required. So normally it's a case of checking hormone levels each time you have the treatment to make sure you're on the correct level. For males on testosterone therapy, it will mean the testes still remain small in size. However, this does not mean that in the future, fertility treatments and gonadotropin therapy won't be successful. Studies have shown that the length of time being on testosterone therapy has no adverse effect on the chances of 
fertility treatment working later in life.